Welcome, and thank you so much for having me here. It's just a pleasure to be with you today. At Microsoft, we're helping organizations across industries leverage AI to drive real business outcomes. And to help you do that, we've developed a checklist based on four key pillars of AI transformation. The first is enriching the employee experience. Is your AI strategy making your people more productive and engaged? Are they enjoying their work more? AI can help create a more dynamic and fulfilling work environment, making your company more competitive in the talent market. Second, consider really carefully how you're reinventing customer engagement through AI. Are you building deeper, more meaningful relationships and personalized experiences for your customers? AI can help you do that at scale, giving you a better understanding of who your customer is and what they want from you. Something that definitely will help you grow your business. Third, think about reshaping your business processes with AI. Until now, many business processes have been bespoke, manual, managed by this overwhelming number of siloed, purpose-built applications. By reimagining those processes with AI, and specifically with agents, you can streamline operations to find efficiencies and measurable cost savings. And finally, Number four, ask yourself if you are bending the curve on innovation. Are you using AI to develop products faster and to bring them to market more efficiently? AI can help you, help you with your innovation cycle, help you stay ahead of the competition, help you drive value generation. Now, these are just a few of the tremendous opportunities presented by AI. But the number one question that I get from customers is simply this, how do I get started? So, we have developed an approach to help every organization begin to unlock the full potential of AI in their business. And it all starts with your employees. In fact, empowering your employees with AI. We envision a future of work, and one that's not very far off, in which every employee, from the front line to the C-suite, is empowered by a co-pilot, a personal assistant at work. And we believe that every business process will not only be powered by agents, but transformed by these agents. Of course, we'd love for you to use our products to do this, but regardless of which commercially available tools you choose, broad distribution across your workforce is going to be key to building new competencies in this era of AI. Now, second, focus on where you can innovate and create very differentiating AI solutions. Every business is unique, and you need a scalable platform that you can adjust to the needs of your business. You need to lay the groundwork to ensure that your AI tools are set up to give you the results that you want. Are they connected, for instance, to the right data? Are you able to measure and evaluate the outcomes? These are important questions to consider. And finally, and certainly not least, invest in your cyber security foundation. An AI-driven business just can't thrive without a robust cyber foundation. The threat landscape has evolved. It's easier than ever for bad actors to exploit vulnerabilities. By building a zero trust environment with appropriate endpoint protection, with identity management and incident response capabilities, you can ensure that your AI initiatives are always secure. These three strategies, leveraging co-pilot and agents, focusing on innovation, and investing in cybersecurity, they are critical to unlocking the full potential of AI transformation. So we're excited to show you how to implement these strategies to drive value for your business. Let's get started with what turns out to be my favorite product, Copilot. Copilot is all about empowering human achievement. That is what we think of as we are devising all the new features and capabilities of Copilot. Now, there's a lot of talk in the industry about agents versus co-pilots and which one you need. And our answer? Well, we think you need both. Here's why. You want to put agents to work on behalf of your business. But humans, we believe, will always have a role. They'll always be involved. And when those humans need to be involved, empower them with great AI assistance. Having these things come together, agents plus co-pilots plus your human ambition, ambition can help you to deliver real AI transformation, real differentiated AI-first business processes for your company. This, from our perspective, is the winning formula. 
Microsoft 365 Copilot is your single pane to tap into the breadth of AI capabilities, no matter if it's offered by Microsoft or by other vendors. And it all comes to you in the flow of your work. It knows you, it knows your work, it knows your priorities, and it works for you just literally like a personal assistant. So let's have Marlene, one of my colleagues, show us how this all comes to life. Marlene. <coughs> How is everybody doing today? Hello, New Netherlands. How are you? Um, like Jared said, Copilot is your personal assistant for AI at work. And today I wanted to show you a couple of things that we can do together using Copilot. So hopefully you guys have all already played with Copilot a little bit. I'm just going to show you simple things that you can do just to accelerate your productivity throughout the day. So the first scenario I want to take you through is how you can use Copilot and Pages to help you prepare for a customer meeting. Let's say I know that there is a great email that I received from my colleague Jason, and he was explaining all of the questions that our customer had. I can't find the email, I can't remember when he sent it, but I know there's some good stuff in there. Let's see if Copilot can help. So I'm going to write, Jason sent me an email with some important customer questions on Contoso. List the questions he needs help with. So we're going to run that prompt. What is it doing? It's looking through the entire graph of data, looking through all of my emails in my Outlook, and guess what? It found it. So he, here it's listed all of the questions about our particular customer, Contoso, and if you wanted to see the reference email, you can actually click on this email below to understand what's going on. It's a really great reference tool. But you don't stop there. You can take this much further. I can actually use Copilot to help me draft a response to these customer questions. So let's do that. I'm gonna be pretty specific in what I ask for here, and in general terms, it's good to be more specific than less. And you can even reference particular documents, which we're gonna do here in just one second. There we go, that's the document that I want to reference. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's some really good answers in this document that I want to reference, which is why I'm grounding Copilot in this particular document as part, of the, as part of the prompt. The other thing you'll notice is that I put in here, for questions you cannot find answers to, put answers needed in caps. That's gonna be my visual cue that I have more work to do to go find other answers. So let's run that prompt. So again, it's re repeating the same pattern. It's looking across the graph to come and this particular document to answer these questions. And you'll see it's pretty fast. So it came up with some really great responses to these customer questions. You'll note that everything, again, is annotated so you can go where the specific point in the document that it's referencing. And it also took my advice. I said I needed to see those questions that couldn't be answered by putting answer needed. And it did that, which is awesome. Guess what? We can take this even further. So Copilot wasn't able to answer every single question. Sometimes those answers are sitting in humans' brains, right? They have not actually documented it anywhere. And that's where you can actually bring your human colleagues into this AI loop. You can do that by clicking Edit in Pages. So what is Pages? Pages is a multiplayer canvas. You can start documenting and creating an artifact together. So I've started my artifact, which is the response that I want to uh, give to the customer. And I want to add other players to this. It's very easy. You can add mention. I can say, hey, Jared, I need your help on this. <clears throat> if it works, let's try one more time. It does not want to work today. The demo guys are not with me, that's okay. So we will just keep going. So in an ideal world, I could have had mentioned Jared, I could have mentioned my other colleagues, Jason, Seth, Nerja, Mandy, whomever. I could have mentioned them. The best part of all of this though, is that I can't actually just add them without verifying and validating that I am sharing this particular artifact with them. Because it goes back to security, right? Microsoft runs on trust. So you wanna be able to have a, a way to share and notify with the other individuals that they now have access to your artifacts. So again, really important. We wanna make sure that we can do everything securely. All right, now let's take a look at what we could do in Outlook. 
I don't know about you guys, but I get way too many emails. It's almost overwhelming. And sometimes it's really hard to see what's actually important. <clears throat> when you look through your emails, you're gonna find things that have the urgent icon, right? The little exclamation point. But it's often the case that those things are not necessarily important to you. It might have been important to the person that sent it, but the, the recipient doesn't necessarily find it per particularly compelling. So now we have this thing called Prioritize My Inbox and Outlook. It Copilot uses your context, so meaning your organizational context, who you report to, who you work with all of time, all of those things, like what customers you're working with, what projects you're working on. And it can also look at all of your graph data, right? So every chat, every email, every, everything that you have going on to form an opinion. Copilot's gonna say, hey, I see Marlene working on these things. I'm gonna make sure that I prioritize those for her. Really important stuff. So this is my, my inbox. I can go into filter and just click high priority. That is how you can get Copilot to prioritize your inbox for you. You'll notice that some of the things that were marked urgent don't show up here because Copilot is using its reasoning to understand what is actually important to you. If I click into this particular email, this first one, it's customer escalation, seems pretty important. It's also a very long email. One easy thing to do is just hit summary by Copilot. Pretty easy stuff. And it's very, very fast. So you can see here, it gives you the top insights, but you don't stop there. You can actually teach Copilot what you want to prioritize as well. So I could click this, customize priority, and I can add all kinds of things that I want it to pay attention to. I could add something like customer issues. That's something that I want to make sure that Copilot prioritizes for me. And so this is just a really nice, easy way to make sure that Copilot is helping you prioritize your emails rather than you trying to triage every morning and trying to figure that out on your own. So that one is pretty darn cool. Okay, now I'd love to take us into Excel. That works for everybody. Let's do that. I love Excel. I'm a huge nerd. Um, I might have to reload this one real fast. We're just gonna do that. So I wanna make sure you guys can see the full experience. <laughs> All right, so let's just reload this bad boy. So as it's loading, what we have done is that we have included Copilot in Excel, but with Python. Python is the world's most popular programming language in the world, but not everybody knows how to code in Python. So we're going to figure out how to do this in a way that makes sense. So we're gonna save this. All right, hopefully we are now cooking with gas. So as Copilot loads, um, it's actually quite easy. You're going to get suggestions on the right. You can see that here. I'll pull it over to the left so you can see a little bit better what's going on. And every, anytime you want more suggestions on what to run in Copilot in Excel, you can click more examples. So I'm doing that right now so you guys can see, see how I try to find my favorite. Here it is, advanced analysis. This is where I like to start. So I'm gonna to go to the sales by product. I wanna understand how we can drive revenue growth. We're gonna look at our historical sales data and take it from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click advanced analysis. And I'm gonna hit start the advanced analysis. So what is it doing behind the scenes? So Copilot is actually using Python to analyze the data in the sales by product tab. It's going to create a plan. It's gonna then execute that plan and give me some suggested questions. So I'm gonna scroll up so you can see what it's doing. So it started, it shows the Python code. If you can see what it's doing. Let's try this one more time. Looks like Excel is being a little challenging today. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. All right, I'm going to ask it, can you forecast revenue by category for the next two years with historical data in a single chart? So it's going to start thinking on it. It understands the data. Again, it repeats the pattern, trying to put together a plan, looking at all the Python formulas, and then it will address it. Oh, of course, Excel is just not gonna work for us today. So in an ideal world, you would actually see a chart. You'd be able to manipulate it further. Fortunately, Copilot is not happy with me today, so we are going to move right on. Um, and with that, Jared,